Hey everybody, this is Dr. Maples. Today, I want to talk about retaking courses to boost your GPA. You know, I think everyone has an experience in college where they didn't do as well as they hoped in a college class. Sometimes that means getting C's, D's, or even F's. There are times where we need a GPA for some particular reason after graduation, and it's got to be a good GPA. So those F's can really hurt us. The question is, is it worthwhile going back and maybe retaking some of those classes so we can try to boost our GPA by replacing our old grade with a better new grade? Today, I wanna work through some of the issues with that anytime a student brings this issue to me. What we wanna do is talk a little bit about how that process works. We wanna talk about some of the issues that I think about, and I also wanna give you my formula for when it's a good idea versus a bad idea to retake a class. Now, before we begin, if you could share this with your student colleagues and friends, I sure would appreciate it. I wanna help other people have an easier college experience than I did. All right, we got a lot to do today, so let's get started. First things first, Dr. Maples, you're telling me that retaking a classes is a thing? Yeah. It actually is. You can retake classes and improve your old grades. At most universities, not everybody allows it. Sometimes they say, no, you can't retake classes at all. Sometimes they blend your old and your new grade, but most universities will replace your old grade with the new grade. That means if you're replacing an F with an A, that's a pretty big boost to your GPA. This could be a really good scenario. And in fact, if it's gonna raise your GPA, maybe we need to consider it. But I gotta be honest with you. Anything like this should be done with caution. We need to have some very good reasons and also make sure we're not causing ourselves more problems in the process by retaking this class to try and boost our grade. Let's go through some of the common issues that I always bring up when my students bring this idea to me. Now, first things first, I always ask my student, why exactly do you need this? Why do you need to boost your GPA? I wanna tell you something controversial here. Your GPA really doesn't matter all that much, except in some very exclusive situations. Graduate school being one of the big ones where you're trying to get into a prestigious program and they're gonna look at how you did in your classes. If you're going into the workforce, your GPA is almost meaningless in most cases. In fact, most people don't even list their GPA on their resume and certainly nobody is gonna go back and look at your transcripts to try and find what your GPA is. As such, unless there's a really good reason that you need to boost your GPA, I actually don't suggest retaking a class. Second, if it's gonna delay your graduation, we really need to consider this. If you have a great reason for getting a higher GPA and that's gonna delay graduation, maybe there's a reason. But my wholehearted belief is that there's very few reasons we should ever delay graduation. I need to get you to the graduation stage so that you can move on to whatever you're doing next in your life. And there's probably not gonna be a lot of value in you retaking a class just to bump up that GPA, unless there's a really good reason for a high GPA. Now here's another point, is what did you get in the first time you took it? If you got an F and you think you can get a B the second time, that's a little different. But if you got a C in that class, my instinct is say, take C for see you later and be done with it. You know, the chances of you bumping it from a C to a B to an A, you know, it may be worth your time, but that's a lot of energy. Uh, it could be scholarship money. It could be time that's gonna be invested in trying to do that. And that bump from C to A isn't necessarily gonna be big. And honestly, if you got a C the first time, there's a decent chance you might get a C or B the second time. As such, if you got the passing grade the first time, probably just take it and walk away. Now here's something sneaky one of my students taught me. You can actually retake classes at other colleges and transfer them in under certain situations. For example, one of my students did really badly in a language class. So they took it at a community college over the summer and then they transferred it in when they came back to campus in the fall. It was great because they took a class where they had failed and they replaced it with an A from a community college. Now you have to be careful on this because universities often have a residency status. That basically means that the last part of your degree has to be entirely at that university. You wanna check with your university and advisor policies before you start transferring any classes in or try to do that because you could actually delay your degree in the process. But if it works as a fresh person or a sophomore, you can sometimes transfer those in from a community college and it works great. Also saves a lot of money. Community colleges are great. 
One final thing that I bring up with my students is, do you have scholarships, and how will retaking class impact those scholarships? Now, it could be that you need to get a better grade on that F class to keep your scholarship. And in that situation, yeah, maybe that's a good idea to retake it. But if you're in a scenario where you only have a certain number of hours available on your scholarship, retaking a class will actually count towards those hours. That could leave you your senior year having to pay for your last semester or so of classes, or worse yet, not having the funds at all to graduate. So that's another big issue. These are all problems that we have to keep in mind when we decide whether or not retaking a class is a good idea or a bad idea. So what's the verdict, Dr. Maples? When do we know we need to retake a class? I have five conditions that have to be true for us to retake a class. First one is I need to know you have a really good reason for getting a higher GPA post-graduation. You know, if you don't need a better GPA, there's just no point in retaking a class. It's a waste of your time. If you need that GPA to maybe get into graduate school, it's a maybe. But I'll be honest with you, GPA isn't everything on your graduate application. They're looking for a strong cover letter. They're also going to be looking for a strong CV. So the GPA isn't going to guarantee you getting into graduate school. If you don't have a good reason, we stop it there. Got a good reason? Okay, let's move move on to the next condition. If this next condition is true, we can continue moving on, and that is it won't delay your graduation. If we're going to slow down your graduation, it's not a good reason to take a class. If you can take that extra class, retake it, and you can still graduate on time, then okay, we can move on to our next condition. Next condition is that you got a D or an F in that class the first time, and you think you can get an A or a B in it the second time. If you got a C in the class, let's move on. If you got a B in the class, let's move on. If you got an A in the class, there's no reason to retake it. But if you got a D or an F and you think you can get better, then let's consider it. Next one is that you have the funds to support it. That means scholarship funds aren't gonna run out, or if it means you have to take an extra three hours in the system, things that you have the funds to pay for that. If you don't have the funds, there's no point in even considering this retake. Finally, you can avoid the scenario that caused the D or the F to begin with. You've got to really dig deep on this one too. As a student, you've got to ask yourself, can I avoid the situation that caused this the last time? If you can't, there's no point in trying it again. Slamming your head against a brick wall twice is not going to change the fact that you're slamming your head against a brick wall. And that holds true with retaking classes. So if these five conditions hold true, then we're looking at a good situation to consider retaking a class. If any of them aren't, it's not a good idea. Move on to the graduation and move on for this class. It's not worth your time. So that's my perspective on retaking classes. In short, it's not a good idea unless you have some really good causes and really good reasons to do so. And those five reasons that I suggested that are preconditions to retaking a class are something that you should really closely consider if you're thinking about retaking a class to boost your GPA. Look forward to hearing more of your feedback on this. Likewise, if there's a video that you'd like me to do, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to work on a video to help make your college experience a little bit easier. That's all for today, folks. We'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, and I shaved my beard. <laughs>